He's getting himself into scoring areas. He's been patient in those areas. He's been moving in and out of like open areas of the ice, especially in the middle. And when he's getting opportunities, he's burying them. But I mean, I just think he's playing with a ton of confidence. He's skating really well. He's got the right amount of grit to his game. I mean, looks he's playing really well right now, and he's fitting in with those guys. And when he's getting opportunities to score, he's the one guy that's hitting the net and putting it in the back of the net. It's huge, yeah. I mean, huge to get a, a solid goaltending performance. Wasn't a lot of work, but like he made key saves at key times. We did a nice job blocking shots again in front of him. Um, but I mean, he looked solid in there. He looked big in there. He lets the one squeak through him on the power play on the low jam, and then he, you know, from then on, he looked better and better as the game went on. Just, I mean, just where this thing was, like. Can't do the math right now. 48 hours ago, 50 hours ago, whatever. Just how different is it after a couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean it's it's different because like it feels good to get rewarded for your work. You know, like we didn't a lot of pressure coming out of the gate losing four in a row, and you know we tried as a staff and as a team to like bring everyone back into perspective. Like it's not the end of the world. I just. You know, a handful of those games, I felt like we deserved a better fate, but we didn't get it. So you got to be mentally strong and resilient group. And so what we've been talking to our team about, um, building it off the Boston game and then having a great game in Anaheim. I don't think tonight's game was anywhere even close. Um, it was a pretty sloppy game from us with the puck especially, but we defended hard and we sacrificed on some blocks. We did enough to win the game on the offensive side of it. We were a little bit opportunistic, but... We'll take the win with things to work on better than taking a loss and being pretty happy with their game, you know? Like, I think it's it's got to be a little bit of both. We need the results now. Five penalties in that second period. Yeah. I mean, is that, like you said, sloppy play? Or are there a couple of those calls you maybe don't like? Or just kind of a little bit of both, you know? Like, we wrap a couple guys up. We trip a couple guys. There's a couple I didn't like. Um, you got to be careful. I think it's... You know, we get our power plays early. We capitalize. He knew it was going to come back around at some point. So, uh, but penalty kill did a really nice job after the first one. We got a big save or two when we needed it. So, good team, good night from our penalty kill. I thought, especially in, in in the circumstances, we weren't real sharp in a lot of areas. But the penalty kill gives kills four in a row. The best you both the guys who aren't here so much, but your three world class players that are here, they are at like fits at 12, 12, and ten now. Or yeah. Has 11. Just, just what have they been meant? I guess through these first six games. You no, know, it's been uh, it's been huge to have them going right because the, the bulk of our offense is coming from those guys as we had expected to at this point. So it's a lot of pressure on it on those guys. We talked, you know, a little bit about making sure we're still focusing on the defensive side of it, which they really have here in the last handful of games. And it's paying dividends, right? Everyone else is sort of following suit and doing what they can, um, checking hard, but yet not a lot of offense is coming from anybody else. That's just sometimes the way it is when you're missing a bunch of guys. So we need them to be there to play well on both sides of the puck. We need them to produce. We need the power play to be good. And, and, and they're following through on their end of the bargain. Thank you guys. Yep, thank you.